I've been broadcasting for like more than 40 years. When I first started going to being a cub reporter and covering news events, it was Commissioner's Court. And I'm telling you, you're a brave man to be a county commissioner. That is the most thankless job in the world because everybody wants their road paved for free. Mm. And so tell me how we're doing right now in Precinct 2 with material to build roads and that sort of thing and keep up with all the infrastructure because, you know, Tom Mullins, who used to run the Chamber of Commerce here, said years ago, and this really amazed me, the Welcome to Tonder sign says 100 smiling people, 100,000 smiling people, but Monday through Friday, five days a week, about 325,000 people descend on our roadways mm -hmm. to, to, to live. You know, part of the reason, not, one, not the main reason that I ran for office, but one of the reasons was I live on a county mm -hmm. road. And I would see firsthand that the county roads were not in that great a shape. Now, I've lived on this road for over 20 years, but I have to give credit to the previous court that I serve on now. Over the last probably 10 years or so, mm -hmm. they really finally got it and said, you know what, we have to do something <laughs> more than just taking the money that we have, trying to patch this or mm -hmm. patch that. We need to put something before the voters, and if they want to support it, we'll pass a bond, we'll actually fix a lot of what needs fixing, Good. and then we're going to come up with a plan <coughs> ongoing so that we keep the roads in good working order and so that's what I feel like I've been charged with is trying to help perpetuate that right now we're in the middle of bond number two for roads that the voters mm -hmm. passed back in 2017 and we're going to be uh, doing a, I think it's another 200 miles of roads mm -hmm. over the coming years